Torah TV. The world is thinking. We need to come to the realization that we can no longer use the atmosphere as a, for a waste dump for our a product, a waste products like carbon dioxide and that we need to stop emitting CO2 to the atmosphere. But under every plausible emission scenario for this century, temperatures continue to increase. So emissions reduction can reduce rates of warming this century, but there is no reasonable way in which emission re reductions can actually cause the Earth to start cooling this century. So what would we do if in year 2040 or 2060 there's a severe climate crisis, say widespread famines or Greenland sliding suddenly into the ocean, that the only plausible way in which we could start the earth cooling this century is to directly intervene in the climate system, say by putting particles in the stratosphere. And this obviously raises all kinds of questions it's hugely risky. Uh, it will likely negatively impact some people, but we might find ourselves in a situation where those risks seem worth taking. So to clarify, even if we turned off all the power plants and stopped driving cars, the world would continue to get hotter. And at some point that might be unbearable. We might consider these, these options. If we got to zero emissions, that would be enough to stop the Earth from warming. But as long as we're emitting some carbon dioxide, there will be some warming. And the inertia in both our energy systems, our social systems, and in the climate system means that it's very likely that the Earth will continue warming throughout this century, despite our best efforts to reduce emissions.